who's in the lead? Uh, Ian is in the lead. It? Yeah, he's one game up at the moment. Am I still in the lead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You won, oh. Yeah. Because hmm. we haven't played since you last won. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ian, to start. Okay. Stanley Baxter. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, remember him? Yeah. 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 Scottish. Yeah. yeah, Hootsman Tootsman is a moose loose in the hoose. I think he I mean, did an advert for a. For, it was for a sweet, <laughs> wasn't it? Spangles? I think it was wine gums, but. Wine gums? Was oh. it? Was, oh. wine gum. Wasn't he a footballer? Stanley Baxter. Or am I thinking of someone else? I don't know anything no, about football, think... so it's very unlikely. But... Uh, Stanley Matthews. No. Oh, that'll Stanley be Matthews, it. you're thinking of. Yeah. All right, then. Who's Stanley Baxter, then? Sir, he's a comedian. Sir Stan. Yeah. Yes, he's an old okay. uh, Scottish comedian, had his own right. show, um, often dressed as a, as a woman. All right. Uh, All right, and your category is? And the category is? Oh. Um... <laughs> Job only half done. You can't just <laughs> chuck a name in. No one else associated with sweets. Because of his wine gums. Nice. Right. Yeah. Because okay. of his wine gums. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Nice. I can name uh, another. I can name another. Okay. Go on then. If you, if you care to ask. Go no, we were name no. <laughs> yeah, Go on then. No, yeah, like go on. Go no, on, no, go on. Name another. Go on. <laughs> it just uses um, up one of the names then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do that. <laughs> Terry Scott. Curly Whirlies. Ah. Okay. Four, do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right then. All right. Um, okay. okay. I'm going to go with uh, Elizabeth Hurley, um, and she's 55 and doesn't does not look 55. And and oh, so my 78. Uh, my uh, category is no one else yeah. currently in their mid 50s. What? <laughs> so like oh, 50, no. 54 to 56 at the moment. Can't have it right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jonathan Miller, here's the director, and ex Cambridge Footlights. Um, no more people whose name, when you come to think of it, are associated with a job and is well past it. Well, he's as old as you can get, he's dead. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what if they're dead? Dead people in, in, uh, in their if... 50s. If they're dead, I don't think you have an age if you're dead. You have an age that you died, but you're not. You don't continue to age. Yeah, no, that's. No. And if they yeah. died in their mid fifties, I'm fine with that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's allowed. I mean, is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite okay with you snuffing it. I in won't be challenging anyone who dies in their mid fifties. So you're, you're only okay. challenging the living. Yes. Yeah. The living. Otherwise, it could be a very quiet game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, this time I'm determined to remember every single name and <laughs> every single category. <laughs> Let's just stop now because I can't remember anymore. <laughs> My brain is full. Engelbert Humbledink. Okay. okay. And the category B will be a name. You, you can't say the name with a slight smirk. Engelbert Humbledink. I mean, yeah. as a child, that always. I mean, and that still is funny, now. Yeah, it's a funny name. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a fun name, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, um, Goldie Horn used to be on uh, Rowan and Martin's Laughing yeah. in the sixties, and one of the jokes that she did was, someone, I guess, either Rowan or Martin, said, "How do you say Engelbert Humperdinck backwards?" And she said, "It already is backwards." <laughs> yeah, there you go. A bit like yeah, Alan, Yen Alan Yentob. Good fact. Good fact. Good. Okay, it's not a job, is there? That's a humperdink. Somebody that humps dinks. Not that I know of. I thought that not through. That I know of. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that through. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, then I'm going for um, Mike Wazowski. The, Wazowski! Um, yeah. The, the little green yeah. monster in Monsters, Inc. Yeah. It's coming with the category now. Um <laughs> <laughs> You said it was so, such confidence. <laughs> like, yes. As if I'd thought of it as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Small green monsters. Uh, small okay, green no, monsters. no more people with a Z in their name. How old is Mike Wazowski? Ooh. Good luck if you want a challenge. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> what a shout! Because, because I well, because the se- the sequel, Monsters University, put them back at university. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I think he's only in his. 30s, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'd be impressed if you could find out. <clears throat> Can't do it without making the challenge. <laughs> okay. On that theme, Billy Crystal. <laughs> okay. Um, no more people that have voiced a character in a film. Okay. Well, right. That's got a lot of people. Nice. How old was Prince when he died? Dead people's all right. Dead people, dead Doesn't matter people's all right. Died. But he was 50. Was he? Yeah. 2016, wasn't it? Yeah. The same age as the other fellow that died at 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weird that coincidence. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who'd have thought? <laughs> you know, up until that point, I hadn't thought. No one else. You haven't said a name yet. You haven't said a name yet. Prince. Oh, Oh, okay. okay. Right, okay. You give me that. Right. No one else who... (laughs) Rewind. (laughs) You didn't say how old is Prince. No one else who has died in the last five years. I feel like I should be using some of the t- the waiting time thinking about someone. Yeah, I I'll yeah. wait for it to get to my go and then go, oh, and I they start go. thinking about oh, something yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Well, except the thing is, up until the moment that Ian tells you what the category is, you don't know what's safe to think no, about. No, that's true. But at least you could have had it all yeah, lined up and then you yeah, just have had chop some of them six out. Six or seven yeah. people ready to go. All right. Yeah. And, and I don't know why the hell this is come into my head but yeah. um i'm going with mo from the three stooges <laughs> no more actors who were primarily in black and white films oh nice <clears throat> primarily so when you when we look at so like their film career was was most like the bulk of it was in black the, and white in the black and white era right then you Usain Bolt. No more people whose <laughs> whose name uh, is uh, is b- building supplies. That's my <laughs> favourite thing of mine. Can you name another? Max Wall. Oh yeah, is Wall Slime a building salt. supply? You slimy oh, sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Jimmy Nail. There you go. I can't remember all the categories, so I'm going to have to go <laughs> blindly into the. Okay. The good of, luck. Into the pit of fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest assured, between us, Dun- we've forgotten most of them as well. <laughs> yeah. Duncan Goodhue. No more bald people. Okay. I wonder how old Duncan Goodhue is. Yeah, that's my thinking. Oh! Yes. Oh! Because he would have been oh, when he no, was I'll, doing I'll, Olympic I mean, things. Yeah, I was I was in my early teens probably when he mm. was um, very so he must have been in. So he would have, I'm the guessing, been 20s? in his, his mid-20s, early 20s or, possibly. Or late, late teen, early 20s, no. yeah. Listen to you two. I'm 46. Listen to you two. <laughs> you can't put us off with your snarling. Come on, uh, hey, It's a complete conspiracy. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, I hey, he might be 60, you. possibly. He might be as old as 60. But, yeah. Okay, know. you do the challenge. I'll do the work. Yeah, I think it's worth a go, isn't it? I think it's worth a go. Our challenge, our challenge okay. on Duncan Goodhue being in his mid fifties. Okay, I'm going. He's sixty-two. On the ground, he, may, so he's he got might a, he might be as name. old as he might be sixty-three. In his 60s. It's possible. Duncan Goodhue is sixty-three. Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh man. You know your you know your Goodhue ages. Challenge one okay. down for me. Right. Okay. 
I'm going to go with Michael Rosen, the uh, former children's laureate author. No more poets. Oh, okay. Simple as that. Mm. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It sounds quite aggressive, oh, yeah. Jim. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no more. more bloody poets. <laughs> Sit to the to back to these bloody <laughs> poets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Coming around here, here. <laughs> Coming around here here. <laughs> reciting blank verse. All right, then Bernie Sanders. No more left wingers. Oh, that's going to be interesting to define. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Is, is voting against Brexit enough to make someone? <laughs> no. No, okay. No, but I think it's people that, you know, they I'm not going to gonna have... fall into the trap of <laughs> Do they have to have had some against... kind of political career? Or, <laughs> no, not or necessarily. I think just... that they are known to be left-wingers. Right, okay. So, you know, the people that were the Cool Britannia people, you know, notwithstanding Tony Blair's later warmongering they were left wingers Billy Bragg for okay. instance would be a people, left winger yeah, people who yeah, vocally yeah. or visibly aligned themselves with that party or that yeah. group yeah, okay. they dress uh-huh. permanently in red yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Father Christmas All right. there you go <laughs> handing out Bloody presents socialist. dressed in <laughs> red that's right yeah Nigel Mansell No more world champions. Oh. Okay. What now old Nigel Mansell is? No, I'm not doing it. He was always, he was always old because he had Jim. Yeah. Go on, Jim. Yeah. Go on, Jim. Go on, He had a 50-year-old's moustache for years. Yeah, he? yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, see, I'm, tr- I'm choosing between, at the moment, Queen Victoria or Princess Charlotte. One of them. Oh, okay. Um, is is probably yeah. going to make it to the top of my head at any moment. Okay. But, but they're yeah. they're both they're competing for yeah. supremacy right, right now. Um, I think I'm going to go with Princess Charlotte. Okay. And I'm going to say no more royals. Okay. Peter Parker, aka. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, no more people whose names alliterate. So have the same letter at the oh, beginning of damn. the first name. There goes Penelope Pitstop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. You, okay. you sneak your job gloves in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which I could, the, my first thought was Bruce Banner, which is yeah. the same. Well, there's a lot of them. When yeah. they made the uh, the Incredible Hulk TV show. They just they changed Bruce's name to David because they didn't want it to be too um, comic-y. They, they ah. thought Bruce Banner sounded silly, and they wanted it to be more serious than that. With, yeah, with Lou Ferrigno showing up Turning in green, in, in green yeah. and without <laughs> bursting out of his trousers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. No more uh, women comedians. Oh, okay. Right then. Can we just have, can we have funny women, but not women comedians? Well, give, give me an example. Um, the woman that hired the opera house, even though she couldn't sing. Florence Foster Jenkins. Florence Llewellyn Bowen. Yeah. Was she funny? I mean. People laughed at her. No. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, people. Laugh. Yeah, no, kind of people. Right. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Granted. Okay. How old do you think Jennifer Saunders? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say she is older 60s. than us. I think she's in her sixties. Yeah. 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 Let's let's think of a person and say it. That's how this works. 
Um, <laughs> oh, no. We'll have to think of something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up with a name <laughs> that I've thought uh -huh. of and then right. let you know what that name is. Uh, Buddha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's the name right. I'm going with. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> no more people who, uh, when you think of them, are obese or fatter. <laughs> Like morbid. Well, it depends where you go, actually, because if you go yeah. to the the shrines in Myanmar, Buddha True. is very slim. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of the the fat Buddha. Right, fat Buddha. Okay. <laughs> fat the gold Buddha, one. Yeah. The gold one. You <laughs> see now, okay, I'm gonna challenge you challenge Buddha. I'm going to challenge Buddha on the basis. Oh, of definitely not fifty. Years years. He didn't. He did not die in the last five years. No, <laughs> that's beautiful. true. That he was a left winger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight back on it because I think fight all you like. I, it's I very un-Buddhist of you. <laughs> I'm not sure. First of all, that he was political at all, uh, and secondly, that there were even things like right wing and left wing when when Buddha was no, around. No, but I think, but I think he espouses the also, values. What, and and standpoints that have that, been embraced that, by the left wing. That is very much not what the category was. The category was people who have vocally or visibly aligned themselves with a left leaning party. I don't think I said vocally like, or visibly aligned. I said it, and any, you said yes. <laughs> at any point. <laughs> the examples were people like Billy wingers. Bragg um, and Buddha. Uh, no, no, he that did, was in the he back of my not, head. Billy he Bragg. Not, he did not. He he was not in any way a oh, visible a supporter of a particular party. Buddha was right there with he, red it, wedge. It, there, it rock wasn't. against racism. When I said when I I, I had to clarify this this category because you said left winger, and I was like just anyone who was was like, deemed to be vote, even not voting a for Brexit, even voting for Brexit. Therefore, and you're saying now it's anyone who espouses the virtues of. Of democracy, essentially. No, well, I can't. don't know that he did that. I well, don't no, think that probably not. Being a left winger but is necessarily. I'm, I'm saying aligned with democracy. I, I'm saying having values that would might be shared by current left wingers doesn't isn't make the you same a left winger. What you were saying, it was, you, know, you, I, you were saying it's someone who who basically stood up and proclaimed themselves to be on. Right, the, the, okay, the then, I will, then I'm going to change my challenge to. <laughs> oh no, you can't change your challenge. He can if he oh, wants I've to lost. spend another challenge. Oh no, you've okay. lost your challenge. I've lost my challenge. I'm going to shut up. Okay then. Well, Ian, do you think, I would go do, you think do you think Buddha was was a left oh, winger? Yes, no, or... I, I'm on your side, Jim. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but I, I do challenge him. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 challenge. No, you've lost your challenge, Mark. But okay. I challenge Jim right. on the basis that Buddha, that Buddha is bald. That's going to be trickier. <laughs> but, well, not for me, it's not. Just <laughs> Google it and image it. Certainly, and come back with what you think about it. He's not it. in the He's... fat era. He's not fat one of those Buddha. ones that has a like bit of hair, like a ponytail thing on top of his head. I think he did when he was. No, 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 no. I think he did when he was David Carradine in Kung Fu. Buddha, Buddha you wanted. <laughs> you were talking about the rotund person, Buddha. Fat if Buddha. you look up Tubby Buddha, the first person you'll see, he will be bald. Well, I tell you what, I'll give you ninety seconds to uh, to to prove that. Mark, I, I I'm looking up I Fat feel, Buddha. I feel. In jeopardy here. I think I'm thinking you're very likely to win this one. Yeah, no hair. Not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. A shred of anything on his bunts. I think. Um. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, there we go. First out again. I thought Buddha was safe. Ian Botham. Uh, no more sports people. <laughs> Is he going to? Oh, there's thinking? so many things that I could 
that I'm debating about challenging on. Okay, okay. I'm going to challenge. On Ooh. what possible grounds? Well, there's several, <laughs> but the first one oh, I'm yeah, going to go into. Oh, yeah, very well. Now that you're the one being challenged, you get well. angry. <laughs> it's, it's how far we yeah. go with royalty, because he's well, now a knight. He's Sir well, Ian it's not, It doesn't make him a and, royal. But he's knighted by the Queen. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't just because he's been touched by a bit of metal <laughs> held by the Queen at the other end doesn't make him royal. By some watery bent. <laughs> by some yeah, just because some he's, watery bent through a scimitar at him. He's he's a knight. Yeah, but he's not royal. He's not, you know, nobody he's says not, HRH, his royal highness, Ian Botham. No, it's just a sir. <laughs> In it though, I I have to agree with Mark. It's Sir isn't a royal. Yeah, royal to. royalty is is inherited, not bestowed. Yes. Okay, so I could by God and my right. It, um, <laughs> that's one challenge gone. Yeah. Yeah, on. and that, bring it on. And that was... Alan, have you got three? Yeah, come on in. Well, see, it's a perfectly sound entry into this noble game. You're bringing the game into disrepute. <laughs> okay, what? Well, okay, I'll, I'll shut up. Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> right. So you're offering then? Oh crikey! I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy <laughs> arguing. <laughs> Too busy <laughs> arguing. So I was so focused on the Duncan Goodhue challenge, that that boldness yeah. thing. Just yeah. yeah, yeah. That was what got me. Yeah. Yeah. And believe it or not, the first thing that came to my head just then was Telly Savalas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous, to... isn't it? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. fine. You're Brenner. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't help. Um... Stop saying bold people. <laughs> 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 Chris Bonnington. Nice. Okay. No more people with beards. So I've gone for bald people and I've gone for beard people. I'm going <laughs> yeah. to go for blonde I feel personally people. attacked. Yeah, I know. I think <laughs> it's been, I was just, just looking for visual cues. <laughs> That's not fair. No, no uh, more Jim okay. Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, I, how many have I got left? Two. I've got a challenge on the basis that Chris Bunnington is the world champion. What was Chris Bunnington? It's a who, uh, who, world champion. Mount, he's a mountaineer. He's is, the is, that, world... is that your challenge? Yes. N no, it, it's not a sport. Climbing Everest, etc., is not a sport. You can have a world record holder, but it won't be a world champion. <laughs> Shall I? Uh... Is Chris Bonington a world champion? I think it's a reasonable question to ask, isn't it? Is Chris Bonington? He might be a world champion egg fryer. You don't know. Well, he could be, and then and then I'll end up with egg on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's not. It's not. <laughs> yes, you so may well. Two, two challenges down. Glasses. You have no more challenges left. Well, you have no. one challenge left, but if you lose it, you're out. I'm out. Okay. Right. Um. Stanley Johnson. Uh, no more people associated with politics at all. Can I just ask, because I don't want to be um, this to be unpleasant. Uh, if I crunch on a peanut, is it making a nasty sound, or are you all right with that? Can you well, even hear it? Sound. I'm going to crunch on a Dorito. Okay. I have a I'll let you know question. if it's bothersome. 
Both of them together at the same time is bothersome. One at a time is perfectly fine. We'll we'll try and um, tessellate our chomping. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good album title. (laughs) Oh, there is such a possible challenge there, but I'm hanging by a thread on the challenges. (laughs) It's just a little bit too scary at this stage. Right. Um, um, to go for a challenge which is iffy. Got lots of hair. <laughs> no, I, I, this, no, I can't. No, I'm not going to go for it. Um, okay. And I just really don't want to give you the pleasure of your first ever win. I, I see that. <laughs> I understand, I understand that, but I will snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Yeah. <laughs> Doubtless. So, you know, don't worry. I will hoist well, myself by my own <laughs> leotard. Yeah. Um, Having said that, you know, I won't allow you to win. No. No. Jump down your throat as soon as I look at you. Yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. God, Lord. I'm frantically trying to remember all the categories <laughs> in this hiatus. Oh, I nearly blew it then. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close to blowing that. Oh, dear, that was so close. Miles Davis used to say that a lot. Yeah, so close to blowing that. <laughs> Oh, I nearly blew it then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. So it's not your turn. No, I know. I understand that. Because you go through all three, back through your childhood favourites <laughs> and childhood memories and all the best people you can think about and all the categories have gone. Gordon the tank engine. Well, he isn't a tank engine, for one thing. So can we clarify who you mean? Because because Thomas was a tank mean... engine, but Gordon had a tender. No, no, Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, the, tank Thomas the tank engine is blue. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thomas, Thomas the, tank the tank engine was blue. Also, but you've got Gordon, Gordon was also you? blue. Gordon was a an express train with a tender, not a tank engine. All right. He was also blue. Yeah, though. he had the didn't he have the kind of the he was the flying Scotsman, wasn't he? Was that kind of modern looking thing? Yeah. More, so are we? Yeah. Are we agreed that Thomas's name is Thomas the Tank Engine? Yeah. Okay. The question is, which is he picking Gordon? I'm not from... going for Thomas. I'm going for Gordon. Oh, right. Well, okay. So Gordon... I'm specifically picking Gordon. Gordon the Express Thomas. Engine in Thomas the Tank Engine of Thomas right. the Tank Engine fame from the yeah. Reverend Audrey stories. No more fictitious characters. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to clarify... Thomas Tank Engine, but his alliterative name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I thought Thomas, Thomas and Gordon shared the same shed, didn't they? Yeah, well, it depends on which version. Episode you're watching. Yeah. They, they At times they all shared the same shed, and at other times the yeah. Henry, and, yeah. Henry and Gordon were in a different shed from the others because they were longer. And then Henry got bricked up by the fat controller. Yes, Naughty, I remember that one. Which was yes. just horrific. Yeah. <laughs> Given that he could he could burst through that with his buffers at any point. Mm. Ah, no, did he not have buff- buffers he on d- the front? He did. I, I mean, it was just the fact that he was like, the fat controller was was bricking him up and removing the rails and saying, well, we're just going to just gonna leave you forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You don't get to be out in the world with other people anymore, basically. I know. Solitary confinement That's, for the rest of your life till you fat die. Di- fat dictator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not even, yeah. It was, not even, it was are we going to brick you up in this war program and episode. leave you there till you're what? a skeleton? Yeah, because he'd been a bit uppity, basically. Yeah. That was all. He kind of said. He, he got too big for know, his boots. Exactly. Because he's a well known left winger. Well, it was. I think it was he didn't want to, he just had a new paint job and he didn't want to go out in the rain because he was proud of his new paint. And the Fat Controller was like, right, well, fuck you then. You're going to be imprisoned forever behind a brick wall. Yeah. Instead of saying, no, you're right, we'll let it dry a bit. 
the yeah. fascinating thing about this game, <laughs> yeah, you've learned so much about it. Oh, no. <laughs> Your knowledge on Thomas is unbelievable. <laughs> but I spent years reading Thomas stories to my son <laughs> between <laughs> between when he was two and like eight. <laughs> we, we read the entire works of the Reverend Audrey about six or seven <laughs> times and watched every episode. Yeah. <laughs> The, so who did the voiceover after Ringo Starr? Michael Angeli. Oh yeah, from they they got the rabbits. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that one. <sighs> the Dalai Lama. No more people whose names sound like animals. Can you name another? Lionel Richie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the Dalai Dromedary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't got a lot of hair, you know. I'm going to challenge that Dalai Lama's balls. God damn you and your Eastern mystics. Shall I, uh, <laughs> shall I look up the Dalai Lama and see if I can find yeah, a picture of him? Images. Yeah, With yeah. Dalai Lama <laughs> images straight away. God damn you. Let's see what comes up. He's pretty bald. But he's got hair. He just shaves it. Yeah, but I mean, if you shave your head, you're bald, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. What do you think he shaves it to give that a <laughs> thank, thank you? Yeah, uh, but look, what's, look the, the... what's the, what is that dark shadow stuff? Yeah, but if you shave your head, you're bald, aren't you? Yeah, but what's that? I used bald. to work with someone who, who yeah. shaved his head and he was bald. As a result of shaving his this, head? Yeah. yeah, that is as hairy as you're going to get him. And he's still yeah. bald. He's still pretty bald. There, and that's just because he's just got spent... very short hair. That's what, that's what bald means. No, bald means you have no hair on your head. He's got a crew cut. So I, he's, he's, you're not he's, bald, Jim. I you went out hair. on a Lexi sale being bald, didn't I? Yes, you did. But Mark, he is bald. Do you think he's Mark. lost all his hair naturally? No, he shaves his fucking head. It all fell out. Mark, Mark, <laughs> Mark. He was a notable. <laughs> Damn you! Damn so you how, to hell! How right wing is the Dalai Lama? <laughs> yeah, fucking exactly. right wing. I think. Oh, uh, what does that mean then? Well, it depends. Do you do you concede, means... or are you gonna or are you gonna fight to the death? No, I'm not gonna fight anymore. <laughs> the two of you ganging up on me with your pseudo boldness. <laughs> He's not Duncan Goodyear, is he? Duncan Goodyear, no Duncan hair Gidgeon whatsoever. Lost his hair. The yes. Buddha. No hair whatsoever. Again, I re the Buddha probably shaved out. his head, I expect. Didn't have razors then. In Buddhist times. I think he was just so religious his hair fell out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was. Yes. Right. Well, there we go. Well done, Ian. Who to you? Thank you, mate. If you are watching this because it's No More Jockeys and you like No More Jockeys, but you think that it's been fun listening to us. We do a podcast, Mark and I, called Fallacious Trump, which is yep. about logical fallacies and also American politics and stuff like that. So if you fancy listening to more of that, you can go to fallaciousTrump.com. They're probably synonyms, aren't they? For fall logical, logical fallacies, fallacies in American, in American politics. politics. Yeah. Often there's a lot of crossover. Go together like bald baldness and Eastern <laughs> religion. So the um, the links to listen to that are in the in the description below. Yep, down uh, below. Yeah, and see you there. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Nobody. Hillary Clinton wants to abolish it. Believe me, she wants to abolish our Second Amendment. I think they didn't deny it. I don't think anybody denied it. Other presidents did not call. They'd write letters, and some presidents didn't do anything. Many people have come out and said, "I'm right." You really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop?